Hello and all. Welcome to Laravel Stream Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to let the user book a table online. So here you can see we have some input field name, number of guests, date, I mean the time, and this will be the date. So when the user fill those input field and click on file table, it will show those data in the admin panel. So for it, let's go back to our code and we'll go to our resource. Then inside t source we have views and inside views we have home folder. So inside home folder we'll go to our index.blade.php and over here you can see we have a section called home.book and this section is basically home.book. So let's go to our home folder then book.blade.php and here you can see we have find table button and we have some input field here. And this is the email input field. So install email, we're going to say here text. Uh, input type will be text. And here the placeholder will be phone number. Let's say phone number. Let me just save this and uh, let me just refresh here. And I can see it says phone number. So right now what we are going to do is that we need to create a table called uh, book table and in that table we have few column like phone number, number of guests, time and date. For it let's go back to our project directory and I am going to open a command prompt in the project directory. So let me say rcmd then press enter and we are going to create a table model for the table. So let's say here php artisan make clone model less our table now will be do they will also keep minus m so this will create a model and migration at the same time so right now if we press enter they can see it created a model and migration so right now let's go back to our code and if we go to our app then models there you can see we have book.php and if we go to our database then migrations here we have on more table called books so we need to add some column here for it we are going to show dollar table then this arrow sign will say here string then to first bracket then do single quotation like this and here we are going to say phone let's just say phone and let's make it null double or we can just write it like this so after it, let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it three times. After full, we'll have the number of guests. Let me just say here, guest. Then this will be the date and this will be the type. Let's say here type. So let's save this and right now, let's go to our common prompt. And we're going to say here PHP artisan migrate address enter. And there you can see the migration is successful. If we now just go back to our uh, Sam, I mean the PHP admin, then go to our database, which is Laravel project. And if we just over here, you can see books table. And uh, if you go inside the ICASI phone, guest, date and time, which is those are number of guests, date and time. So right now, uh, when we give some input data and click on this, it will upload those data to this table. So for it, what we need to do is really simple. Uh, let's go to our book.break.php and we need to keep those input fields inside a form. So let me just give a form here, let me say here form opening and this form will end after this fine table so we are going to in the form over here so right now uh install this anchor tag we are going to say here import and the type will be submit submit and for the input type it will just cut this fine table also this closing anchor tag at this id we are going to say here of handle it will be to table let me just save it then let me refresh and the guess empty was fine and it says book table 
right now what we are going to do is that you have to go at the top and here inside this form we say action then method method will be post then we need also add the csrf token here we say he has the srf after that give the action we need to mention the url let's say here url to file your get then to single potential to embed url and we need to keep this inside two second bracket like this so here in this say book underscore table then save it. So right now we will create a route for this. For it, let's go to our route, then web.php. Then let me just copy this route, control C. And I'm going to paste it over here. So the route will be post. The route name. Uh, here you can see the route will be post and the route name will be Google underscore table. So we're going to say here Uber underscore table Okay, let, let's make it smaller And the function name will be Let's say Uber underscore table as well And we're going to use the phone controller So right now let's go to our phone controller and create this function So let's go to our app Then HTTP Controller Then phone controller Let's go down and we're going to say here public file shell it will be book underscore table to first bracket then to second bracket and we also need to say here request dollar request so right now let's go to our group dot rate dot bsp and here you can see this is a input field for the phone number so we need to mention the name here let's say name will be number or let's say name will be phone then this one will be for number of guests so let's say here the name will be n underscore guest and this is for the type so here okay it says email so we will say here time and here we're going to give a name let's say the name will be time and this one will be for date let's say here placeholder it will be date and here when we will to say name it will be dead so right now what we need is that we need to get those input field data in the phone controller uh, first of all what we are going to do is that we are going to mention the table model name at the top of our controller so here i am just going to copy this then paste it here and our Model name is use app backslash model backslash this order. I mean, uh, it is bool. Let me say here bool. And let me just directly go down. And here, we're going to declare a variable. Let's say dollar data equal to new bool. Then we're going to say here dollar data. Then this arrow sign. We're going to mention the table column name here you can see phone case data type right so we're going to first get the phone number so we say here phone equal to we'll mention this dollar request we say here dollar request then this arrow sign we're going to mention the input field name here you can see name is phone for this one the name is in underscore guest the name is time and the name is David. Right. So we are going to mention on by on. So the first one will be phone. Uh, let me just copy this. And then I will paste it three times. So this one will be guest. We we'll say here guest. And the name is from the input field is n underscore guest. This will be the time so let me just say here time uh, request time and this will be the date let me say here date and date so after this we are going to say here dollar data this arrow sign is set and after saving the data we send the user back to the same place so we we'll say here return redirect to fast racket this arrow sign back 
So let me just save this and let's go back to our browser. If we refresh and let me just give a random phone number here. Then let's say number of guests will be 04. The time will be this on and the date will be this on. Then if we now click on book table. So right now, if we just refresh our database table, then you can see it is showing us the phone, guest number, then and the type. So this is how you can book a table in Laravel. I hope this was easy for you. If you have any question or any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.